Howdy folks, it's me, Manic Mark, <clears throat> coming to you with the thought for today, uh, whatever I was thinking of, I wrote it down, <clears throat> and um, I was just, I was doing something, and there was something that was wrong, and, and I, there's something I hate, and I thought, well, what are some of the things that I hate? So I thought, well, I'll come up with the 10 things that I hate, and then I thought, well, I should expand all that and come up with 10 things that I love. And so I started to work on this, and I thought, well, I should, I should label this to 10 things I, I love and hate, hopefully without creating a huge thing that I'll be sorry for. So I, hopefully I've left out some things that I hate that I'll be sorry for. Because, you know, people say, how can, how can you possibly hate that? Like Stalin. I hate Stalin. But I know that I get email from somebody saying, you know, well... Stalin was a good guy. I'm not, you know, I don't know. I mean, it just happened. I got to cut all that out. <clears throat> so, but I'm, and while I was making this list, it occurred to me that this is not a new thing. That people have done this all the time. And and one of the things that when you make a list, I think it's probably an exercise that you do um, when you go into therapy. Okay, you make these hate and love lists. And the point is is that you'll end up finding more things that you love than what you hate. And that's supposed to make you feel better about your life, right? But I think, I think that you just bury the stuff that you hate in your subconscious. And there's a, a whole lot more stuff that you hate back there, just boiling up in that morass of b blackness. I will start out, I don't know if I should go back and forth. Maybe I'll just start out with the things I hate and do the whole list, okay? Um, eh, I don't know if it's in order or not, but I'm just going to start out like with the number 10. <clears throat> number 10, when clothes in the dryer get wound up in a fitted sheet and don't dry. And that's what started this whole thing today, is that every time you do laundry and you put it in the dryer, a shirt gets wrapped up in a damn fitted sheet. Don't you know what I'm talking about? And, and then you think, well, the clothes are dry. You know, I'm busy, I don't have to go check them. And you go, you take them out in two days, and there's this wet shirt in your sheet, and it's stinky. By that time, it's just stinky. I hate that. <sighs> Number nine, putting on a pair of brand new pants that I've saved for a special dress-up occasion and finding that they don't fit anymore. I hate that. But there's a silver lining to that story, <clears throat> to that thing I hate, which is that I saved those pants. And I put them in a pile of pants that I call my cancer pants. That's right, my cancer pants. And what they're for is when I get cancer, I have some clothes that fit me. Okay, uh, number eight. <clears throat> when a person in your household puts a dirty dish in the dishwasher rack in the front of the rack instead of the rear of the rack. Empty dishwashing machine, dirty dish, goes in the front instead of the back. I think that just says a lot about a person. And if you're dating someone who does that, you should, uh, you know, make it, decide whether or not that having a dirty dish in the front of the rack instead of the back rack is going to be a problem with you later on. Because it probably will be. Okay, <clears throat> let's see, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7. Stepping in a pile of dog shit in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. I really hate that. S Let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Number 6. Stepping in a pile of dog shit with both feet, sliding across the floor, falling on my ass, in the middle of the smeared pile of poo. 5. Having your dog beg you to go outside as you clean up his shit in the middle of the night. That's right. Dog poop in the middle of the night, stepping in it. Really sets me off. Okay. Uh, let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. <clears throat> Number 4. Knowing that we are all doomed. Yes, some days I feel we're more doom than other days, and some days I feel we're speeding towards doom faster than other days. But frankly, um, there's no doubt about it, we're all doomed. And I hate that. Number three, food that goes bad before you can eat it. Ugh! It's 
nothing like spending money on food and taking the grape jelly out of your refrigerator and finding it full of mold. Uh, probably my fault. I probably put something in it like bread or butter. I had no idea. It's my fault. It's my fault that I hate myself. Okay, number two. This is, this, is a, this is a good one. Working any one job long enough so that you have time to get to know your coworkers well enough so that they start to bore you. They start to annoy and irritate you. And you start to hate them. And then you go out and buy yourself a voodoo doll and stab the doll in the heart hoping that you can kill them from the safety of your home. Well, I hate the first part. The second part it's actually kind of an interesting thing. You, you, you know, you're trying to put metal, metal waves into the voodoo doll with the, the, the steak knife in. That part, I, I always wondered if it works. But the first part is working a job long enough that you get to know your co-workers to the point where that you hate them. I hate that. Number one, buying a record on eBay only to find out that when you've won the auction that the seller has hidden a $2.50 shipping surcharge in his description, which is an obvious, which is it's obviously intended to bypass eBay's shipping limitations. Oh man, I really, really hate that. Don't know if that should be number one on the list, but it really pisses me off. Okay, now things that I love.